Okay, video number two. So we have expected value. What's expected value? So this is basically anything to do with when you go to casino. Yeah, that's the easiest way to explain it. You roll the dice. Okay, let's start off with rolling the dice. So the probability that you would get a six. So I'm saying if you one year to play the game, if you get a six, you will get a five euro back. Obviously, it's a bad idea, but we'll see. So the probability of getting that six is one sixth. Yeah, multiplied by the five euro. Yeah, that would be five six, and that would be less than one. So we'd expect to lose money. Now, when we're dealing with money we would put that in we put that into our calculator so I'll do that now and we do it to two decimal places so 5 divided by 6 is I should have had this prepared that is 0 0.83 there 8333333 so we're losing 17 cent per game is that game fair? no we are down 17 cent per game they are making 17 cent per game now if we did a similar one and we flipped it around and it was uh, one euro to play but you want seven euro we'd be up money per game is that now fair no no game is fair unless if we did in that one and you won six euro so the chances are the exact same so no game that you'll see in a casino is fair um Roulette. So roulette, they they will say, I think there's 32 numbers in roulette, and then you got, yeah, you got 16 red, 16 black. Okay, and then there's one green. So they're probably getting a red. Okay, so they say you double your money. Okay, so we put down 200 euro. So we're feeling risky. So probably getting a red is 16 out of the 33. And they're saying we double our money. Double our money, we would get 400. Let's see, does that get us there? If I put that into my calculator or my phone, as I don't have a calculator beside me, you got 16 divided by 33 equals multiplied by 400. And that's 193 euro. 0.94 so we are losing six euro and six cents every time that we put down that bet there so it's a pretty stupid bet to be making okay so don't make that bet that's how casinos work they generally and paddy power they want to make seven percent every single time it's the optimal amount so let's say if we were to do something like this Uh, yep, we divide this into different categories. Okay, this is the quarter category. You would get five euro here. You would get two euro here. You would get one euro here. Uh, you would get ten euro here. You would get fifteen euro here and twenty-five euro here. Okay, so I'm saying to play this game is five euro okay or let's say we say it's seven euro okay seven euro to play that game so most people would go okay interesting we'll see what i can get from that so you'd break down each single one of them this this one here that is one quarter yeah, so it's one quarter multiplied by one. Yeah, this one is one quarter multiplied by two. It's the probability by the payout. This one's one quarter by four, or by five, sorry. So that's 0 0.25, that's 0 0.5, that is 0, 1.25, this now here is not a quarter, that is an eight. An eight 
by 10. So that is 10 eighths. So that's, I'll put that into my trusted calculator again. That's 10 divided by 8, 1.25. That was a rookie, easy one to do. This next one is a 16th by 15. So we go along 15 divided by 16 equals 0 0.937, so 94. And the last one would be 1 16th multiplied by 25. So 25 divided by 16, and that's 1.56. Okay, add them all up. Okay, I'm not going to do it, but you could do it. That'd be 2.5, that'd be 3, that would get us to around 4, that would get us. It, you come out with around 560, you'd get less. Is it a fair game? No. Would most people aesthetically look at that game and think it's a fair game? Yes. Okay, that's where it gets you. Absolutely, that's where it gets you. Um, Okay, let's look at a uh, whenever whenever you're given a spinny wheel like this, you gotta measure the sections. Sometimes they might tell you. Okay, so below here, they might got something in here, and they might say that that's five degrees. Well, the probability of that sector there is the probability is five over three sixty. Yep, because it's five degrees of the three hundred sixty degree turn. That's it. And if that payout was 516 euro, 5 over 360 multiplied by 516, that would tell us the expected outcome of that one specific area. That's it. Now, if I ever tell you you're rolling a pair of dice, all you're thinking of straight away is two way table. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and you gotta really read the question when it comes to these. If it says the product, the product means you multiply them. If it says the sum, the sum means you add them. So that'd be two, three, three, four, 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 five, five. Five. I think the game in Vegas is called Crabs for this. Um, yeah, that's the one that you see. It's all the movies. That's nine, 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 ten, 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 eleven, eleven, twelve. Okay, probably get a six. So I say you roll a six. Um, you'll get twenty euro. Okay, so therefore you roll a six. One, two, three, four, five. So easiest way, put a circle around that, put a circle so you don't include it. One, two, three, four, five. That's five out of 36. I say you roll a six, you get 40 euro. But it's five euro to play. Okay, and you do five by that, just, and then you'd see, does it come out just? Okay, really, 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 really simple. Now, the condition said any double. Here's the doubles, two and two, three and three, Four and four, five and five, six and six. Okay? And one and one. So there's six doubles you can get. That'd be six out of thirty-six. And then you do that. And if it says if you do this or this, then you add them up. So if I said the six, what's that? And then I say if you get any double. Yeah. So you would do separately for the, the doubles there. Um it's a game fair. You just always go back to not fair for you because that's the emotional response will come in. Is it a fair game? Yes or no? No is generally the answer. So don't do that there. Now, the only one you got to be very careful is if they say, okay, let's say I was to go with this one here. And I was to say, okay, if you roll um, any, any number that is odd or well let's say no 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 forget that I'm just going to confuse you by going into that okay but you have to be careful of the 
ex ones that might say any doubles that doesn't include a four. Well, there's only five doubles that don't include a four. Okay, just look out. This is really, 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 really common sense. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave you there with it. I do not expect many questions on this. I expect loads of questions on Bernoulli's trials, which is next, and I think it's terrific. So that's going to be the next one we're going to do. So the questions that you're going to have for homework on this is you're going to get as many done between, it's on page 203, this is 7.2, probably 2. You're going to do question 1 all the way up to 17. Get as many of them done as possible and see you in the next video.